So first I'm going to just use a pair of scissors. You can use a tool like this, wire strippers, uh, in order to expose a little bit more of the wire so that it's easier to solder. You can see that there's a little bit of the wire that's already exposed. And so I'm using the solar panel right now. And my goal is to melt a little bit of the, of the solder, about one millimeter solder, onto the alligator clip to both leads on my solar panel so that it's easy to connect it to the battery. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to expose a little bit more wire here. And so I'm barely, trying to, to cut through just so I can cut through the, the red insulating material, but not cut all the way through the metal wire. So you don't always have wire strippers available in a classroom, but you probably do have a pair, a small pair of scissors. And so you can see that once you pinch it a little bit through, then you can just kind of pull the, the rest of it off there. And you want about, maybe about a centimeter, a centimeter and a half of uh, the wire exposed. So again, I'm just sort of barely cutting through the, the wire here. I have to see that with the shadow there. And then once I've and I got it started there. I'm just kind of using my nails to, to pull that insulating material off so we can expose the metal. Students will know that hopefully that metal is a good conductor. And so our goal here is to use that property to our advantage so that we can melt the metal solder onto the metal wire to our metal alligator kits, clips and have a good solid connection. All right, now you might notice in the alligator clip that there is a hole in the bottom there, and then there's these two sort of clasps, clasps on the top. All right, let the camera focus a little bit. All right, so what we're going to do is feed the wire through the hole there, and we're going to solder it down to the back side of the alligator clip like that, okay? So what you can do with a pair of pliers is pinch these clasps down on the insulating part of the wire, and that will kind of hold it in place a little bit. And so I've got a pair of pliers here, so I'm just gonna sort of pinch it down. Even the top of the pair of wire strippers works really well at the distance. So all right, so I've pinched the uh, the wire down there. So that's kind of holding the wire in place, but that's not a very good connection. You know, there's a lot of space there. And so now what we want to do is solder the, the metal wire onto our alligator clip. But that's a pretty good start right there. So we've got some helping hands here. Now, when you're working, obviously, with the students, the tip of the soldering iron becomes very hot, and so you always want to grasp the soldering iron only by its handle. And always assume that it's on. Uh, there's a little indicator light on this soldering iron that indicates that it has power, and you should always assume that it's on and never really touch it by the part that's getting hot. You could probably find a wealth of resources on YouTube and otherwise that will show you um, some good sort of soldering techniques. But one thing that I tend to, to always see is to, to sort of heat up the, the wire that you're, you're wanting to solder first. So I'm just going to kind of touch the soldering iron to that and then bring my solder to the, 
tip of the soldering iron so I can melt a little bit of solder down onto it. And that's about all it takes right there. I do have a damp sponge close by my soldering iron holder so that I can kind of wet that. So hopefully you can see there that we've melted a little bit of the solder onto there. And we've created a pretty solid connection. All right. Now this metal material might still be hot for a moment, so you want to kind of let it cool down probably longer than I just did right here. All right. So it's pretty good. We'll go on to the next one. So again, we're going to feed the wire through the hole there. So it's touching the bottom of the alligator clip. I'm going to use a pair of pliers to clamp these two clasps down. I'll show you that more clearly. All right, let's see camera focus for a moment. So again, you can see how maybe you can see that there's two triangular shaped clasps on either side that are open. And so we're going to pinch those down onto the wire. So I fed the middle part through the hole there so that the insulated part of the wire is sticking out. down one side. The other side. And while that does indeed hold the, the wire in place pretty well to the to the alligator clip, remember we don't really have a good solid connection between our, our metal wire and the alligator clip. So that's why we want to solder it. So I've got my metal wire here. Heat it up a little bit. And then melt the solder right on top of the metal wire. So there's a firm connection between the metal alligator clip and the metal. And then replace my solder and remove it its holder. So we've melted the solder onto that. We've got a pretty strong connection there. Now I've got two alligator clips soldered onto the leads of my solar panel. So once we attach the, the motor to our solar panel, right, there's going to be a, an axle 
I'm sorry, a gear on the, the motor, uh, another gear attached to the axle. And you can see that there's two leads on the back here. And so we're gonna connect the positive lead to one end and the negative lead to the other. How will you know which is which? Well, the motor will spin when it's connected to power and uh, the, the sun is incident upon the solar panel and it's either gonna spin in reverse or forward. And so depending on which way you wire it up, you can always just switch the, the leads if uh, you end up wiring it in reverse or just turn your car around. All right, so this is really the first step in uh, building your solar rover or your junior solar sprint solar race car, uh, making sure that you've got alligator clips on the leads of the solar panel so that you can attach it to the motor. If it happens to be a bit cloudy out, you can easily detach the solar panel from the motor and you'll be able to attach your battery. So the Pitsco kits come with a battery backup um, and you would wanna kind of do the same thing. Now, I think there's only two alligator clips that are contained in those kits. And so if you're participating in Destination Mars, uh, I've ordered some extra alligator clips that I can bring out to your campus, or if you happen to have some alligator clips, you do the same thing that we did here onto the battery pack. And so that way you could just easily attach the, the battery to the motor in case of inclement weather. All right, we'll see you for the next video.